So you've got to realise these boats are powered by the human. Simple as that. Yeah, it's got a wing, but the actual power is driven by six people on the boat. Out of the six people, four of them are in a physical role. The other one's grinding, generating power. So it's massively important we manage and monitor these guys. So on the water, all the data and metrics I'm getting, the live feed um, from the Zephyr system, is quite important to capture. The two separate bits of hardware is the pod itself, which is the transmitter, and it fits in to either a strap that wraps around their chest, or on the boat, they'll have a compression garment. Um, so it's like a vest and it plugs in the front. We use it in three aspects. Uh, one is monitoring the guys real time, whether it's on the water, off the water, their physiological vitals, so it's anything from heart rate to breathing rate to core temperature. Secondly, for athlete management, so it's got a really good load tracking system in there which works from the accelerometer, um, so mechanical loading and movement you've got the NG forces and also the heart rate zones they're in. We're looking at sustained power, um, say for certain pedestals on the boat, so we know the guys can operate at a certain power, a wattage and their heart rate's within a certain zone, so it's a kind of a threshold zone. If they go above that heart rate zone, we know their wattage is going to drop, because they're working a bit more anaerobically, so they're not going to sustain or last that power through uh, the whole 20 minute block. Data collection's super important now these days. Um, we need to know what's going on with the athletes, so once we get data on the race course, for example, we know physically the human demands for these guys in each position. We can then train them specifically on the land, so we can monitor them real time, you know, where their zones are, where their loading parameters are, their breathing rate, and how their core temperature is reacting to the loads I'm giving them. So once they know their power output to their zones, and what zones they need to work in, and then they've got a fair idea how to manage that on and off the water. We have two races in um, one day with short recovery time between them. So I can see the guys real time, how they finish that race, their state of them, and then follow their recovery track. Might indicate we may need a certain recovery protocol or more hydration for the guys. So once we know all that data, we've been collecting over a period of time before these races, we can make a more informed decision on that individual or the team, for example. <laughs>